Hi, I'm Garvin. Welcome to our telehealth video series. In this video, I will give a brief overview of what you need to know about varicose veins. In particular, I'll cover what are they, how you treat varicose veins, and how you can mo more successfully live with varicose veins. So we start with what are varicose veins? So varicose veins are enlarged veins. Any vein may become varicose, but the veins most commonly affected are those in your legs and feet. That's because standing and walking upright increases the pressure in the veins of your lower body. For many people, varicose veins and spider veins are common. And there are mild, the spider veins are a mild variation of varicose veins and are simply a cosmetic concern. For other people, varicose veins can cause aching, pain and discomfort. Sometimes varicose veins leads to more serious problems. And varicose veins may also signal a higher risk of other circulatory problems. So treatment may involve self-care measures or procedures by a doctor to close or remove veins. So varicose veins usually don't cause any pain. Signs you have or may have varicose veins include veins that are dark, purple, or blue in color, veins that appear twisted and bulging, often like cords on your legs. Varicose veins may also form in other places on your legs, from your groin to your ankle. When painful signs and symptoms occur, they may include an achy or heavy feeling in your legs, burning, throbbing, muscle cramping, and swelling in your lower legs, worsened pain after sitting or standing for a long time, itching around one or more of your veins, skin ulcers near your ankle, which can mean you have a severe form of vascular disease that requires medical attention. Spider veins are similar to varicose veins, but they're smaller. Spider veins are found closer to the skin surface and are often red or blue. They occur on the legs, but can also be found on the face. Arteries carry blood from your heart to the rest of your tissues, and veins return blood from the rest of your tissues to your heart, so the blood can be recirculated. To return blood to your heart, the veins in your legs must work against gravity. Muscle contractions in your lower legs act as pumps, and elastic vein walls help blood return to your heart. Tiny valves in your veins open as blood flows towards your heart, then close to stop blood flowing backwards. So causes of varicose veins include age. As you get older, your veins carry or can lose elasticity, causing them to stretch. The valves in your veins may become weak, allowing blood that should be moving towards your heart to flow backwards. Blood pools in your veins and your veins enlarge and become varicose. So next is how do you treat it? Fortunately, treatment usually doesn't mean a hospital stay or long uncomfortable recovery. Thanks to less invasive procedures, varicose veins can generally be treated on an outpatient basis. So self-care such as exercising, losing weight, not wearing tight clothes, elevating your legs and avoiding long periods of standing or sitting can ease pain and prevent varicose veins from getting worse. So compression stockings, Wearing compression stockings is often the first approach to try before moving on to other treatments. Compression stockings are worn all day. They steadily squeeze your legs, helping veins and leg muscles move blood more efficiently. So sclerotherapy. In this procedure, your doctor injects small and medium-sized varicose veins with a solution that scars and closes those veins. In a few weeks, treated varicose veins should fade. And laser surgeries. Doctors are using new technology in laser treatments to close off smaller varicose veins and spider veins. And catheter-assisted procedures. In one of these treatments, your doctor inserts a thin tube or a catheter into an enlarged vein and heats the tip of the catheter. Next is vein stripping. This procedure involves removing a long vein through small incisions an ambulatory phlebotomy. Your doctor removes smaller varicose veins through a series of tiny skin punctures. An endoscopic vein surgery. You might need this operation only in an advanced case involving leg ulcers. The procedure is performed on an outpatient basis. 
and when pregnant, some pregnant women develop varicose veins. Pregnancy increases the volume of blood in your body, but decreases the flow of blood from your legs to your pelvis. This circulatory change is designed to support the growing fetus, but it can produce an unfortunate side effect in large veins in your legs. Varicose veins may surface for the first time or may worsen during late pregnancy when the uterus exerts greater pressure on the veins in your legs. Changes in your hormones during pregnancy may also play a role. So finally, how do you live with it? There are some self-care measures you can take to decrease the discomfort that varicose veins can cause. These can, or these same measurements can help prevent or slow the development of varicose veins. As, and they include exercise, so get your legs moving. Walking is a great idea to encourage blood circulation in your legs. Your doctor can recommend an appropriate activity level for you. Watch your weight and your diet. Shedding excess pounds takes unnecessary pressure off your veins. So what you eat makes a difference too. And watch what you wear. Avoid high heels and low heeled shoes. Work calf muscles more, which is better for your veins. Don't wear tight clothes around your waist, legs or groin. Tight panty leg girdles, for instance, can cut blood supply. Elevate your legs. To improve leg circulation in your legs, take several short breaks daily to elevate your legs above the level of your heart. For example, lie down with the legs resting on three or four pillows. Avoid long periods of sitting or standing. Make a point of changing your position frequently to encourage blood flow. Try to move around at least every 30 minutes and don't sit with your legs crossed. Some doctors believe this position can increase circulation problems. Finally, there are numerous products available at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas to assist you in managing varicose veins more effectively on a day-to-day -day basis. To start with, we have numerous products to get you started on an exercise program, such as exercise ball, floor mats, weights, and various other items to get you up and running on a program that we create together tailored for you. We also have various supplements and products which you can purchase from us without a prescription, such as creams and lotions, multivitamins, probiotics, fish oils, Plus, we stock light boxes to promote relaxation, blood pressure monitors, blood sugar monitors, and fat monitors to monitor your health. So that brings this video to an end. Customers of Lynch's Pharmacy can avail of a brand new offering at Telehealth Clinic. You can book a 30-minute clinic with us, and we help to increase your understanding of your illness. During a clinic, together we create a cohesive management plan which enables you to take a more active role in managing varicose veins with confidence. We provide you with the tools you need to live a healthy life. Call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork or call 021 436 6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.